Hello, welcome to the video on how to create your first KPI inside of OpSource Analytics. The first step to creating your first KPI is to click on the Add New Page function here at the top of the screen. Page refers to a page of, of different KPIs that you want to create and view in the future. You'll see once you create your page, it appear over here on this menu on the left hand side and you can create multiple pages of different KPIs. I'm going to call this my first page. I'm going to hit the finish button and it will take me to the content settings screen. The content settings screen provides a number of different options that will adjust how your KPIs display on your new dashboard page. Please see a separate video inside the help section for more details on using these features. In this video, we're simply going to take you through the steps to actually create your KPI. You create your KPI using the metric wizard. Click on the metric wizard button here in the content section. Once you create that, you'll be taken to the, a series of questions that will help you create the KPI. The first question is choosing a data set, which is essentially what data you want to display inside your KPI. I'm going to choose network metrics. The network metrics data set provides information on public IP bandwidth usage of your configuration and op source, both bandwidth coming into the configuration and the amount of bandwidth of traffic going out of your configuration out to the public internet. And you'll see once I choose network metrics in step one, I'm given a list of data items over here in question two that I can display. And each time I will see a preview over here on the right hand side of what I put together. So right now, my preview is showing the total megabits in, in other words, the total number of megabits into the configuration for the period of time covered by the KPI. By default, the KPI sets at the last 30 days, so this would represent the total number of megabits into my configuration over the last 30 days. If I click on out, I can get the same amount of information of traffic outbound from my configuration out to the public internet. Now what I'm interested in graphing is the average minimum and maximum average megabits per second figures. Each hour I'll have a value of what's the average load in megabits per second of my site, both in and out. And I'm going to want to display what's the maximum amount of bandwidth I'm seeing traffic-wise over an hour during the period covered by my KPI. So I'm going to choose max average megabits out. Now here in, in question three, right now I'm seeing a single view for the whole time period covered by the KPI. What I'm really interested in doing is plotting this value as it changes over time. I have the option of plotting it by month, so there's the, the top value I saw in a given month, or I can do it hourly to show each hour of the day what was the maximum over time. And you'll see a sort of undulating pattern here as my peak traffic comes in during each period of time of the day. But I'm looking for really what's the maximum figure in each given day so I can compare that value over time. I'm going to click on the next figure here. Now I can choose the title of my graph. This will be in my KPI, what displays over here in the upper left hand corner. And I think what I'm going to say is what's the maximum average megabits out. Oops, forgot the X. Uh, then in section five, in setting the preferences, I do have the ability to adjust the settings I just made in step two and three before. In other words, what data am I showing? And what do I want to show it by? I'm also given a new and important step, which is the timestamp. Rather than showing this data over the past 30 days, perhaps I want to look at just the last month or the current month of data. So here I'm presenting the data from all of August, and that's what I'm going to display month by month in this configuration. In number six, then, I have the content template, which is essentially the look and feel of my KPI. Here I'm displaying a bar chart. And you'll see there's a number of different bar chart looks and feels I might want my KPI to look like. Here we've gone to a little bit more of a 3D effect. Here I've gone to a bar chart view that has the values at the top of each screen. screen. Or I can go and look at line charts or pie charts or other ways of presenting this data. Here's a line chart view. Uh, I'm going to choose for this one after looking at this an area view because I think that's the best look and feel across this. Uh, but you do not need to worry too much about this step. You'll have the option later on to change the look and feel of this KPI once it's created on your dashboard page. So let's move forward to that. We're going to hit save. Assume we're done. And here you'll see in this content settings view the new KPI I've created shows here. I'm going to hit the finish key. 
I'll be taken back to my page. Here you can see first page, and here's the KPI I've created. Now inside that KPI, I can mouse over the data, and for each day, I'll see a value of, hey, the maximum uh, average megabit out I had on that day was 201 megabits. Or on the 25th, perhaps, I'd go and look and say, okay, on the 25th, my maximum amount of bandwidth out was 650 megabits per second. And suppose I want to drill down and understand a little bit more detail. Was that for the whole day or was that just a quick peek during the day? I can click on that date and I will get a drill down view that shows for each hour of the day what was my average figure. So at 5 in the morning, 650.5 looks like I had the same value at 6 in the morning. Uh, and, and so on going down through the day and sort by the lowest value over here. So for each 24 hour, it's 24 hours a day for each hour long period I can basically inside the analytics drill down and see that underlying data. I'll hit the back button to go back out and there's my KPI. So next time I log in from the home screen, I can move over to my dashboard page, first page, and see the KPI I've created there. That concludes this video. Please though go on to the next video uh, modifying your KPI, which will take us through some of those options of how we can change the look and feel of this once we've actually created it.